So who were your inspirations, like, musically? My inspirations, right, it sounds really sad when I say this, but I'd have to include my, include my parents. They've been huge inspirations. Like, even before I could walk, I'd always said I wanted to be a singer, and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then as I got older, they kind of took me, you know, they, even the X Factors and the pop idols they took me to. Really? And um, they were really supportive, and they took time off work, sorry. Kind of called in sick. I've kind of dropped them in it now. But they called in sick, and, uh -oh. <laughs> you know, no, and no. took me down. To edit she that. didn't say that. She didn't say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I'd say musically, Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston. Uh, my mum always says to me, "Don't say those singers." No, but you have to be honest. Like, obvious, if it's they are huge singers, and they were kind of big when I was. They're huge now, but they were like kind of kind of working their way. Or, yeah. yeah. So I used to stand there with my, you know, my hairbrush. Sing them what, in the, in, in the bedroom, in the mirror. Yeah, yeah some of us <laughs> still kind of do that, but hey, let's not mock it. <laughs> so yeah, we do, we, I do that too. <laughs> but it works, and now you're here, you're doing your thing. Yeah. And who would you say, like, the UK right now, I have to say, we should all be proud of, like, the oh, music brilliant. coming out of the UK, we the artists really coming well. out of the UK. It's brilliant. And people are starting to take notice, you know, people are going over to America, etc. Who do you think is kind of doing their thing from your point of view? My point of view at the moment would be Tinchy Strider. Crazy. I think it, it, you know, from where he was and to where he is now is unreal. Like, I'm even shocked that he didn't even win a MOBO, you know. We've all been saying it. I think I a know. lot of people are mad about that. He had, a, what, because two number ones? You know, and like, number I know. one for quite a while as well. And I everyone know. loves that track with Amel as well. And it's yeah. just like... No one can believe he didn't win a MOBO. It was shocking. Even was though shocking. the MOBOs was a kind of a UK it, an event this year, this, I have to actually yeah, say. It was, it was, it was just good. But yeah, I was quite shocked. But obviously, N Dubs deserved one, and so did who else won one? And JLS, JLS. JLS have done really well as well. You know what? Even though they weren't the winners from X Factor, yeah, they have done really well. They are. And you know what? Because I remember them a while ago, just before Do You Mind? Like kind of was it was just just wow. starting to do its peak. They used to be they were obviously so before a big they did band, the X Factor. So before thing. they done the X Factor, um, they were signed to kind of the similar label to to where oh, okay. I was, and um, they they were actually called UFO. Oh. So they changed their name and then and that's what threw me when I was watching them on X Factor. I was like, I recognise them, but their names are not yeah, JLS. JLS, but, yeah. but no. But yeah, so they're doing really well. No, no, really good. I think they're but, the first. Um, the first black group in the UK to get to number one. I know, and it's nice to see a band as well. They work well together. I think they have good chemistry. Yeah, the girls love them. But saying that, is there anyone you'd like to work with? There would, you know, there is. Well, the wood is. Um, there's there loads is, of people. Uh, get the list out. Uh, Where uh, there's <laughs> loads and loads of people. Do you know what? I would love to work with Chipmunk right now. We, we every time we see each other, he always says, "Yeah, call me and we'll sort it out." But Do you know what? I have to say, Chipmunk, yeah, the swagger. <laughs> for, like he's so young, but he's achieved so much. I know, and it's just like he's oh. so young as well, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. But how old is he? Like 17? 17, 18, 18. Yeah. and like for how much he's achieved at such a young age, it's, it's crazy. Un but it's just the way he is, the way he holds himself, yeah. it's just unreal. Unbelievable. So I'd love to do something with him. Um, you know, another one I'd like to work with is. Um, Tiny Temper, he done the wifey rhythm with flukes actually, oh. just before Crazy Cousins kind of had started. I just think, you know, every time I meet him, he's just so humble. And he, he's all, and uh, I think the reason why I think that is because obviously before Do You Mind come about, before I'd even met the Crazy Cousins or Powerface, or anyone was even interested in who I was, I remember coming to watch him in a concert in Cambridge and I pulled him aside to ask him for some advice on where oh, wow. he thought I'd go. And he was lovely, you know. He was like, you know, just keep doing your thing, you give me some advice. And then, obviously, two, three years later... Your tracks he, come he, out. Yeah, and... and he said to me, he even remembered me, you know. He was like, you know, well done. I remember. See, you have presence. That's kind of, you had presence then, you didn't even drop any singles. And now that, it's like it he's... Just, yeah, so, yeah, so I just think he's really humble. Really humble, so I'd love to... Just love to work with him. He's talented as well. But just because he's humble, I'd love to work with him. He's just lovely. But you mentioned Crazy Cousins. How did that all come about for you? Right. 
um, the, do you mind, the original track was a bassline track um, and that got signed to Ministry. So that was kind of, the ball was rolling there already and we needed to get some remixes done. So we decided to ask Crazy Cousins to do a remix as, because that was like Palface's cousin. Mm -hmm. So it was all kind of family based. So we spoke to um, Flukes and he said, yeah, we'll do a remix. So we've done the remix, which was quite funny because I put it on my MySpace page. And my best friend was like, I'm not feeling it, Kyla. I'm not feeling it at all. I don't like it. So I was like, okay. As best friends do, they just yeah, play Yeah, they're the just truth. honest. And um, so he'd done this, I put this track on, and obviously when it started blowing up, my best friend called, can I have that track, please? No. It's grown on me now. Yeah. You know, I wasn't feeling it no, at I'll first, DJ it out now. now. Quite far. <laughs> that's actually really funny. So, um, yeah, and that's how I got working with the Crazy Cousins. So the remix kind of just blew up, and then, so then it was just obvious to do the next track with them. Like, it done so well, and we'd been travelling up and down the country together, so it was like, why not? Why, why don't it's we do something? Things. Yeah, so then... I like the way you just go with the flow. It kind of like... You're well, not planning, you're just kind of just going with whatever's coming your way. Yeah, because kind of you good know what, I think if you plan, sometimes it can go a bit wrong. And the, the music industry changes all Very the time. It's like constant. So I was thinking if I make... There's tracks I've done, obviously, in the studio that kind of had a sugar babes feel. And it was kind of like got the kind of acoustic guitar to it and which is lovely. Can't really it see you as the third sugar babe though. <laughs> Seriously. No. I think it's because you're too much of your own person and to kind of I couldn't see you with a group. I don't think I could be with a group, you know. I don't I, to be honest, I don't think I could be with a group. I was with a group when I was younger and we argued. <laughs> no, I think it's because you're such a strong person and you have a strong presence. Yeah. And it kind of speaks out in your music as well. So yeah. for you to be in a group, I think it just wouldn't work. Yeah. <laughs> we would all be like, no, it's my time. It's my time. <laughs> uh, no, I'm in the front. I'm in the front. <laughs> <laughs> so people watching this, there's a loads of people that do music, kind of, you know, they have a vision, they have a goal. What kind yeah. of advice would you give them? Do you know what? The only advice I'd give, to be honest, is to just keep going. And no matter how many knockbacks you get, don't give up. So the only advice I can give because that was the only kind of thing that I remember at one point in my career I decided I was like no I'm not getting nowhere I'm gonna give up. Because I think after and so many no's or yeah, people you just saying you know what not now or whatever I think you kind of do get a you bit. You get kind of but the thing is it doesn't mean that you're not good or it could just be that it's even not your time or that, you know, not everyone is it's going not to right feel that person. Yeah, you know, so I, I've just learned that now you've just got to keep going. No matter what, just keep going. So my advice would just be don't give up, keep going. No matter how many knockbacks you get, stand, you know, stand up, keep going. And that would be my advice. So what's coming up for Kyla? Okay, what's coming up for me is I have a new single coming out. It's called Think About You. Um, and I think you're going to be quite surprised because it is not at all funky. It's, oh. it's pop. Wow. It's more like, um, it's kind of dirty pop. Okay. Cheesy we pop. We can't wait. When's that going to kind of... Um, soon? We're, yeah, very soon. Still I'm working gonna on it. I'm going to ride Daydreaming out for a little while and then I'm going to come out with my But you're happy track. with the success of Daydreaming at the moment? Definitely, definitely. You know, I wanted to go for like, that whole radio feel and... I really feel like it's kind of got that is you know it's one of those tracks that the girls could be cooking or they could be doing anything yeah. and they're just like you know yeah, I'm just bopping away to it yes <laughs> well thank you for taking time out thank on the mixtape um, I have to say guys make sure you kind of watch out for this girl because she's gonna blow up I'm telling you she's big things coming from her oh, I paid Kayla. to say that you know yeah, yeah okay pay me now <laughs> give me the money now. <laughs> Kayla on the mixtape.